Yeah, but you hide in the, the machine. It's the a machine. You, you sneak your lighter through and, and light up the machine. Come on, start. It's not even starting, this stupid thing. <laughs> We have to leave it go. Yep. Never heard of it. It's better than rye, everything. It's lighter. Hmm. Really. Oh. Really? I could sit down with a 40 ounce and finish it. No doubt. I like my cheap stuff, Alberta Premium. Well, <laughs> now you can't get it in Quebec about five years now. You can't? No, because they didn't know how to translate in French golden wedding. You couldn't. Oh. Because I went for a, a bottle in Paspiac. Then I was up in Gaspé. I went to the liquor store there. No. So I went to Camelton. Got about 40 ounces there. No doubt. Huh. <laughs> well, no, you like that one there. I'll try it. You got it going now. Oh yeah, leave it a burner yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the charcoal. Yep. And then you get that all nice and hot and we'll throw the charcoals on top. It needs to dry. It smells sweet. Yeah, I love it. Smell. Love it sound. <laughs> Goodness me. Sarah. You're only gonna stay in here all night and feed this fire. I know that for a fact. Whoopsie daisies. Oh, it's amateur hour over here. Wait, can you get it set up? It wasn't in the frame when I moved oh. the tripod back. A nice stone wall in the back. Do you want the bucket or do you like that? That's fine. It's called setting up the shot. We're doing our best. <laughs> Cute. It's just camping and family time. Oh, you're getting it real hot. You need to calm down. You don't know want a fire starts, I can't stop it. I can't, calm down. I can't stop feeding a fire. Listen, who said she wanted a big fire for yeah. the coals, eh? Right? Who said? Oh, I did. I did. I did. I did. It, Get it nice and hot, you Listen. said. I did. And then we can put the coals <laughs> on it. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Oh, I did say that. You gotta get it hot for the coals. It's true. God, charcoal can be so annoying. It really can be. I hope it's okay without fluid. Well, yeah. I know, but it just, it just like helps it go whoosh. It doesn't need to go whoosh right. now. You got your whoosh. But I want it to go whoosh. Chimney, chim, chimney, chim, chim, chiroo. Hey, Maxie. You a chimney sweeper, my boy? You a chimney sweeper? Am I killing it? Maybe I'm killing it. Oh, here she comes. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, 
people watching this are probably like, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Easy peasy. He's almost too big for that. You're gonna, you're gonna cut it out. We're leaving this raw, so whatever you say is included. Fair enough. You gotta wash the chef. No, there's not much to wash. I'm not much of a chef. Oh my gosh. Where'd my eggs go? I had eggs in the bowl. Oh. oh I had a silver bowl. Oh, you didn't use the silver bowl. There was a silver bowl? I had a silver bowl with two eggs in it. Okay. And thought that was the mixing bowl. I will go get That's your eggs. silver bowls are for. Yep. Yeah. Maybe I'll bring back crackers. Okay. Fair enough. I'll use this as a compost bowl. She's learning. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I said there on the Jeff Rossman report there, yeah. we're talking about onions and that. If you see an onion that's pinch, you know, like anywhere, yeah. don't pick it up. Really? Yeah. No good. Oh. I said you never wash chicken. Really? Because when you wash chicken, all the bacteria yes, goes Yes, I've heard over. that. People always think they need to wash it, but you no, don't. No, you don't. Don't because, wash it. No, because it burn, it uh, kills. When it's uh, yeah, cooking. Yeah, exactly. You don't need, there's no need to actually rinse your chicken off. No. Max, get out of there. Maybe it's not very stable. No, it's not. <laughs> so unstable I could no garlic for me eh? what I'm not a vampire you don't like garlic are you allergic no I just you're allergic. not allergic you'll be fine it's all getting mixed into one bowl okay you'll be fine okay it's not that bad I'll only not do, fine there I'll do a small amount okay won't be much No cheese, no garlic. Holy. He doesn't like garlic. I said it's a small amount. If he's not allergic, he'll be fine. Right? I think right. he's going to think it's amazing. Except there's no cumin. So I'm missing one spice ingredient. But... It's very rocky. You don't see our face. I want to no, zoom in. No, don't look at my face. How come? Okay, no, no, there. Okay, she got your your hands. That's all. All right. This table moves so fast. Are you nervous? No, not at all. Okay. Are you? No. Okay. You're the one on camera, not me. Oh, she's not really on camera. Just her hand. That's it. Don't do it. And another thing. You better like cilantro at least. Jesus. That's the worst thing you could buy. Oh my. No, listen. Who invited you for dinner? <laughs> it's no good. 
I know. Oh, he wants it fresh. You should have bought the no, fresh. No, no, it's not right now. You buy a lettuce and you peel it because when they make when they do this lettuce, it goes through the machines and all that, and the machines. What's the chemicals on it? Bacteria. Mm. They don't clean it good and all that. Mm -hmm. You see. Mm -hmm. Gross. Yeah, it is. Gross. Yeah, we could have, we could have bought the fresh head. Well, you know what your fresh head and lettuce cost? Yeah. A couple of bucks or more. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, tell me about it. People at work, my case of asparagus, he's like, oh, it's gone down from 90 to $80. I'm like, oh, perfect. That's no problem. They delivered my asparagus the other day. I look at the receipt. $108, $15 it went up to. They didn't tell me that. No. Why did they tell me that? Because then you wouldn't have bought it from them. Right? I have to. It's local. It's about local, supporting local. What do you think of that knife? Yeah, it's all right. This table is so wobbly. I love the knife. It's great. <laughs> no, uh, no crackers? No. I mean, there was like brown crackers. Bends in half, I forgot. It's not a normal cutting board, is it, babe? No. Ooh. I'm gonna miss the cumin so bad. What are you putting instead? Curry. Curry. That's pretty good. That moose meat? What do you say? Uh, 50% pork, 25% moose, 25%? No, bed? those were the sausages. Oh, well, then I wasn't missing any. You missed a little piece on the table. Is that the, uh, the meat you get from the guy down here? I think so. Yeah, very good hamburger. It doesn't shrink nothing. We're missing crackers and cheese. There's no crackers in those cheese. <laughs> All sold out. All sold out, he says. <laughs> Can you smell? Do you want more spices in here? I'm going to take your nose for its word. I'm trying, but... I got no scent in the smell, so don't ask me. Ooh, there's some big onions in that one. Uh, Do you like onions at least? Yes. All right. <laughs> Do you like onions? Don't ask me. Ask yourself. <laughs> Who oh, doesn't like onion? Where'd that come from? Right? Oh, just <laughs> that don't come from gas, but that's for sure, Ashley. <laughs> well, we didn't put salt and pepper. That should be fine. Okay. Now, listen. When you put your hamburgers on, you sing it. Here, chef. We'll warm it. <laughs> we'll let it warm up a bit, eh? Mm. 
just see how I'll try one, see how she goes. Oh, she's hot. Oh, yeah. Smoke. Ooh. I'll put them on. Yeah, yeah, put them on. Good. Oh, I can smell the buns. Holy moly. Wow, those are hot. Here, here. Oh, Christ. Surely. 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 Look at that. You see how I do that? Yeah, uh, he's so smart. I like.